Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to the official release of Delta Flyer, my beginner friendly small Delta build. If you're interested in supporting me, definitely uh, consider becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member. I really appreciate it. It does go a long way to help me doing these builds and uh, designing more 3D printers. This is officially out of beta. Um, there might still be a quirk here and there, so I highly recommend anyone building this printer join my Discord. It's a very friendly, awesome place to be. Um, we're approaching uh, 6,000 members here pretty soon, which is just incredible. And uh, it really is a great place to hang out, no matter what your hobby is. Uh, it is really awesome. So, this printer to build is around $300 US. Now, that's kind of where, that's like the cheapest DIY printer can be. Um, there are no economies of scale here. You're buying every single part individually. There's no discounts. This is as cheap as it gets when building um, do-it-yourself printers. You cannot compare this to a kit printer or a Ender 3 or something like that. This is a completely different hobby building printers and um, the prices are according to what's available and you know motors alone are 50 to 60 dollars already right there just for stepper motors. So um, you can't get a do-it-yourself printer cheaper than this. Um, I think 300 bucks is a great price for this and it's definitely an awesome price for someone wanting to get into building 3D printers and also wanting to get into deltas. That's the whole point of this 3D printer is get people into building deltas. Um, as you can see it printing away here, I'm printing a Rook um, part. These are really, really fun to watch. This one is fully enclosable. I have the DXF files for all the panels on printables. There are very few mechanical parts. Um, it's easy to route the belts. Um, it's just a very enjoyable printer to build. So, I have printed this all out of ABS. If you're not going to be printing it enclosed or you're not adding panels or anything like that, you can print it out in PLA. That will be totally fine. Um, this does have a heated bed by default. Mine just never showed up on AliExpress, so I'm using my tried and true painter's tape, which works great. Um, also, the regular specifications for this printer is a 150 millimeter build plate. I have a 120 millimeter one in this uh, build because that's what I had lying around. I just wanted to make use of it rather than wasting it. So, it is a 150 millimeter build plate, but the printable area is 120 millimeters circular. Um, print height is around the same too, about 120 millimeters. And um, this printer does use linear rods for its motion. And I am using Aegis Drylin bearings um, for the actual motion on the carriages. You could use normal um, bearings, but they are gonna be much louder and they generally have more slop. The carriages on this here do have M3 bolts to clamp them and to squeeze those Aegis bearings nice and tight. So, I highly recommend getting yourself some Aegis bearings. Um, it makes the printer much quieter and you can get better tolerances. I am using MP Jets joints for the arms. These are the number one recommended joints for a Delta arm. Um, you can definitely order cheaper ones on AliExpress, but your arm length might differ and there might be slop and play in those joints. So I highly recommend you look at the bill of materials and you check out the MP Jets. They're not expensive and they are um, the recommended actual joints for the arms. I'm just using carbon tubes which I cut to size um, and I do have a jig on printables to be able to assemble the arms. The arms are set, the length of the arms is set by the jig, not by the carbon tube. So if you cut a carbon tube slightly smaller by mistake, that's completely fine. The jig is actually what determines the length of the arm, not the sizing of the tube. So your carbon tubes can vary in length ever so slightly. It won't affect the actual printer itself. 
Um, this printer does use a bamboo hot end. That's generally what I use on a lot of my printers. They're cheap. Um, you can get them very quickly. Um, I use genuine bamboo ones off their website, but you do have to order them in packs of three if you do that. However, you can use bamboo clones on AliExpress. Those again, of course, are in the bill of materials. Pretty straightforward, um, 3010 fan to cool the hot end. And then we do have a 5015 uh, fan here for cooling. This printer is essentially a 3D printed frame. So I did not design it to print crazy fast or anything like that. Um, you can definitely experiment if you want. I'm only printing at about 3000 acceleration here. Um, pretty tame, but it does make for very nice quality prints. And I am very happy with how this printer is printing. You can see here on the inside, I do have some tape on the inside, which I do need to finish. I am running all my wires on the inside of the printer. So my motor wires are coming up through the bottom cutouts there and into the top all on the inside. So I have a cleaner exterior ex um, appearance. There are notches, which I will show you later on in the video on the outside if you want to run your wires externally. You can definitely choose whichever way you would like to do that. And like I say, you can build this printer um, without the enclosure or you can enclose it and it should be completely fine to print it out in ABS or PLA. So um, I am very happy with this overall. I, I think it is a really good printer for beginners to get into deltas um, or just anyone to get into a delta 3D printer. Uh, I do have a build series, uh, basically a series of streams on my channel, which is now complete. So you can check that out on my channel. Uh, it's about seven episodes, I believe, where we go through building this uh, 3D printer. Um, there's definitely some interesting moments on stream where I uh, messed up and damaged some parts and things like that. Um, for calibrating this printer, uh, there is a optional Triangle Labs probe, a nozzle probe that you can use to make your life easier. Um, it's very inexpensive. However, it is a bit tricky to fit on the bamboo nozzle because the probe does fit onto the nozzle with like a um, piece of foam. You do have to modify that piece of foam for it to slip onto the actual nozzle of the bamboo hot end. It does work. I use it on this build, but you do not have to have a probe to calibrate this. You can do a manual calibration with a piece of paper. Um, it takes a little bit more time, but it works just as well. So I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm going to give you guys a view of the printer externally and I'm going to show off some prints that I have done and um, we'll go from there. All right, here we are a close up of the printer. So this uses linear rods for its motion. I am using Aegis bearings. You could definitely use normal bearings if you want. They will be loud and they can have worse tolerances. So just keep that in mind. I have printed this in uh, it fully ABS. This, um, like I said, would have a heated bed. Mine just never showed up. It does have an acrylic door for fully enclosed printing. Let's see here, these are the MP jets that are absolutely recommended for this build. You can definitely uh, use other joints, but your mileage may vary and may not be as good. As you can see here, I'm running all my wires internally, um, or there is the option for you to run your wires on the outside. So there is a notch here and a notch here. So you can run your motor wires on the outside up and into the top cover if you prefer to have your wires on the outside instead of on the inside. The top is just magnetic with three by six millimeter magnets just pressed into their slots there. I have designed this for the uh, Mellow Fly D5P, but I had a Manta lying around, so that's just what I decided to use. There's a good amount of space up here. And we are using a BMG. Uh, pretty much any BMG clone will work just fine. 
just mounts on the side panel like so. And we are printing out the rook part, like I said. Really great printer. So I'm gonna show off some more models here that I printed on this machine. So here we have a D&D figure. Really, really nice print quality, very happy with this. It's not the best filament to show off quality, unfortunately, but this is kind of just what I had lying around. Um, it's a really great printer for printing models like this. Flat, flat one and then I have another model here. See if I can get it a bit. So there we have it. Delta Flyer is complete on printables. Go and build one yourself. Really happy with how this printer turned out. It is no longer in beta, so go have fun. Again, if you'd like to support me, feel free to join my Patreon or become a YouTube member. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.